family, welcome to the channel. Welcome to I Am Cat. That's me. And on this channel, we're going to be doing some amazing things like challenges, reviews on hair and food, and my favorite, mukbangs. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. And come on in. Well, hello everyone. <clears throat> this is the recipe for the Mississippi pot rolls. We have here a five pound or well, six pound chuck shoulder roast from Kroger. Very nice and firm and fresh. We also have one packet of ranch dressing, salad dressing seasoning mix, one package of all juice gravy mix, one container of pepperonocini, pepperocini, those are so good, and one stick of butter. Actually, this is margarine, but same thing. Okay, so here we go. I like to rinse off my meat first. So I'm gonna rinse it off. But before I put the meat into the crock pot, we have to sear the meat first. So let's wait, let's let that oil get hot. Nice and hot. Okay, so now it's time for us to sear the meat. The meat has already been cleaned off, rinsed soft, so now it's time to sear it. The nice sizzling. That's the sound we're looking for. We're gonna let that sizzle get brown about two to three minutes on each side, and then we're gonna put it into the crock pot. Okay, so I flipped it over, and you see that this is the consistency or the color that we're looking for, that brown coloring. And let's flip it over again. Yeah. So one more minute on this side, and then we're gonna put it into the crock pot. Okay. So now we're about to put the meat into the crock pot. Okay. So now we want to add the ranch packet. Just sprinkle it over uh -oh. all the meat. We're gonna put that we waste not, want not. We get all the money there. Alrighty. And now for the Aju gravy. And McCormick is a great brand. Very flavorful. Pour that over the meat. Now, we're going to get a knife and cut up a stick of butter. I just like to cut it in chunks and Spread it all over. Okay. 
Make sure not to cut your hand. And after that, last but not least, what gives it the flavor? We're adding the pepperonocinis. And I know I just jacked that name all the way up, but you know what I'm talking about. And we add the whole thing. Yep, the juice and everything. Super simple. Okay. <laughs> well, once we get it out. <laughs> Okay, there you go. Come on out there. Come on. There you go. There you go. And spread it all over. Now, make sure your crock pot is on. Mine is on high. It's still going to take at least a good four hours to cook. Four to five hours to cook. And we'll be back and look at the end product. See you later. Let's check it out now. It's been six hours. No, I'm sorry, seven hours. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. Look at that nice. See, the reason why I added all the juice from the peppuccinos <laughs> is because of the make its own gravy. And we're making mashed potatoes with it. So that gravy, thicken it up with a little flour. It's going to be so good. Okay. I know earlier I said let it cook for four hours. For five hours, I meant to say eight to nine hours to get it nice and tender. We'll be back. Welcome back, everybody. The food is ready. And here we go. We have that famous Mississippi pot roast. We have the mashed potatoes it made its own gravy and all that juice. It cooked down nice and tender. Look how just falling apart with the peppercino. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> Peppers. And some nice corn on the cob. And mixed vegetables. And again, this took a total of about eight and a half hours in the slow cooker. So, bon appetit. Thank you. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to I Am Cat's channel. And we'll see you again next time. Peace.